What's going on guys? Welcome back to Gotti's Garage. This is the very last video of 2021. So at the end of this video, you guys will see some clips of some, I would consider major things that we did uh, 2021. Now this year was all over the place. No real projects got finished, unfortunately. That is what I wanted to talk to you about, about 2022. So 2022, we're gonna be starting fresh. My problem is, is that I want to build one of at least everything. I have a ton of ideas. I have a ton of things that I want to do, but realistically, because I'm not a giant YouTuber, I don't have the money to be doing five, six different projects at the same time. In order to get things done, we're going to be doing one project at a time. That is going to start with the trailer in 2022. It is officially, as of right now, done. We're just waiting on for it to sell so I can finish the video out. But, uh, and then it's going to be the LS engine. So. We're actually going to be, you know, starting that today, but you guys will see this in 2022 as well. The point of 2022 is I want to get back to the original plan of my YouTube channel, which was drag racing and drifting. I always wanted to build a drag car. I've always wanted to build a really big drift car. Don't know exactly what direction I'm going to be going to or going in. I don't know if this engine will be for a drag car or a drift car. It's going to be boosted. You guys will see more on this engine, you know, in upcoming videos. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, the little bell icon if you haven't done that already to notify you when new videos are up. I hope you guys enjoy this. Uh, let me know below what you guys think about the new logo. I appreciate every little bit of support that you guys give me and I'm not gonna quit. I got too much time invested in this. I'm not ever gonna quit. Enjoy this. What's going on guys? Well, sitting here at work editing the video. I forgot to you know, wish you guys a happy new year. Hopefully, hopefully you had a great Christmas. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Gotti's Garage. Now you're probably watching this video because you're interested in one of my stability control bypass harnesses. <laughs> These are the LEDs I went with, they're a Farron. Got them off Amazon, I think they're like 40 bucks. Max speeding rods, two and a half inch leveling kit. This is the channel's new 1987 Ford McCurr. I think I'm pronouncing it right. You should have seen all the dust that came out of it. This is my 1996 S10, had a 2.2 .2 liter in it. All right, guys, holy shit. So I just got like a huge rush of motivation. I wish I had all my welding stuff all set up. I wish I had the AR5 and the FabBot adapter and all that so I could start making mounts. Um, I don't know why these cars didn't just come with this. Like the two three turbo is kind of it's cool. It's definitely cool. You can definitely get power out of it. But I mean, just look at this. In this video, we're going to be unboxing, installing, and testing out this forty-two inch light bar. is 
wheel spacers. This is about how far my tire sticks out right now and it's pretty even. Well, these ones anyways. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten these and you do it the same pattern as you would your wheel. And here is our spacer now. Looks much more aggressive, looks way better. You no, know, almost $1,000 and only getting it after you forgot every detail about it already. You probably spontaneously bought it, but yeah. Anyways, so here's the radio. It comes in a regular generic box, and then it comes in this box. Probably to, uh, you know, not allow anybody to know what it really is. So it has this cool little opening ordeal thing. And then it's also wrapped in plastic, but like I said, I already have opened it because I wanted to check it out. So that's the screen. All right, so as you can see, it is hooked up to the internet. We're on my YouTube page right now, so you might as well and hit that little subscribe button that is right there. And you know how YouTube, so there's a notification up here, like when you get on YouTube and they just hit a trillion views.